game one. Got grand finals. Just as a reminder, guys, this is best of three. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to get home at a reasonable hour. So, two dope. Not sure if I was commentating with you or before, but in the winner side set, numbers did start off super strong, but then Dill eventually got her game and was able to reel it back. So hopefully numbers is able to compose himself and just remember what he did in the beginning to like overwhelm Dill. Yeah, yeah. Remember your roots. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it felt like in game two and then game three. It felt like Dill was completely controlling the pace of the match, especially, you know, putting down that gyro, setting up that wall, and suddenly John Numbers was just not able to play the long-range game at all, and then he was the one who was forced to approach. Yeah, no, true. Ooh. True, but if you're Numbers, you, you have to, like, have thought of, like, a strategy by mm -hmm. now to, so this doesn't keep happening to you. Yeah, he's had... Yeah, you know, he's had plenty of time to sort of ruminate and try and... Yeah. And it seems like his plan is, like, just for her not to, like, set up to that degree. Like, you see, already going past it and now picking up the gyro. You see it right here. Yeah, we saw John try and throw it upward, which does take it out of out of the picture for a pretty long time while it stays up out of the air. Yeah. yeah only it's a soft hit of the back air, which means Dill is going to be living a little bit longer still poking with that gyro. All right, no air dodge. Oh! Oh, just able to make it pass by the skin of his teeth. And that means John is going to be living a little bit longer. And I feel like we did see in the winner's side set, you know, Dill did struggle a little bit getting getting the kill. We saw John live to some pretty high percentages. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, really every missed opportunity to kill is a big deal for this matchup right now. I yeah, know, it's definitely a big deal. Up to the wow. challenge All right, using all that gas to get way high up and make the way back to center stage. But that time, the right armor back, are actually yeah. working out. Yeah. I feel like typically John only only throws that out in uh, like reflector matchups. I feel like he only really throws that out um, when he knows he can crouch afterwards. Yeah, but unfortunately he couldn't crouch right there. And I do like the mix up from Dill, just parrying, and then you just don't know when the arm runner is gonna come out. Yep, now we're back to the long range game. Yeah, and this didn't work out for John. For. This like ended up being in those favor, so I'm not agreeing with this choice from Don. To like just play passive. Once again, Dill trying to go for these downers. There were a lot of missed downer attempts in the winner's side. Oh no, I yeah. imagine. It definitely was. And that you know really contributed to the parts of the matchup where Dill was struggling is you know just trying to find this kill. Meanwhile, John getting nutty conversions like that. Oh, that was John's gyro? Yeah. Fooled me. Took new ownership. <laughs> yep, John going a little bit too deep there, trying to find the edge guard. Carrying the neutral there, putting Dill back off stage. Right now, Till. Oh yeah, that's another um, another tech that John had in his like anti-rob video is how to uh, grab um, like grab the gyro from ledge uh, ledge jump. I'm so, to definitely watch this video. Yeah, it it only works for like I think half the cast or something, but yeah, I think you can you can just grab the grab the gyro off of ledge. Oh, what my a spot! God. Yeah, Dill, I think mashing out of that barrier a little bit too fast got to the side B input. Dill just struggling to find the second kill while John's working his way towards a third. It's looking so tough. What a tech into the header. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> He's yeah. pleased with himself. John? Happy John. That's what you want. Like. Yeah. <laughs> 
Remember to, remember to keep your John happy. Remember. Some people say no Johns. I say <laughs> happy numbers. Johns. Man, that's so messed up. <laughs> yeah. Like, just look in the play. Yeah. Look how pleased he is. Because you, at that point, you thought you grabbed Wedge. <laughs> That's like what's messed He's up. He's a kid on Christmas morning. Yes. <laughs> All right. I don't know who plays this game, but <laughs> I guess we can listen to some Xenoblade. Hey, they got a whole direct last week or something. I don't know who watched it. All, <laughs> all like six people. I'm so like, excited for I'm it. I'm looking at the numbers. There's like 40 people. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Like, what's going on here? Three, All right, so two, we are coming back to one, Small Battlefield. I go! I feel like this is probably just going to be where the entire Grand Finals is going to be played, the Small Battlefield. Board. What? Do you think we're going to switch stages? No. These two? Not at all. They don't know no other. This is like the meme. Fox only, Fox Ditto uh, yeah. on FD. It's the equivalent to them. Well, all right, using the neutral air to fight one of John's own. Yeah, Dill just playing at this kind of burst range uh, where she can threaten with gyro and try and make sure that John can't really do anything, but now John has the gyro in hand. Thrown away pretty early, though. Well, unfortunate mistiming there uh, for the laser, giving John plenty of space to set up his own resources. All right, but yeah, again, crossing up John is just not the correct decision. Just back here. It's coming out so fast. Yeah. So that was a sneaky sun salutation, but Dill just barely able to get the shield out in time. A deep breathing F tilt is going gonna, is gonna to do it. Yeah, and John has so much control, so much confidence. going for the up throw there, you know, knowing that John has the mash on lock. He's got the mash into air dodge every time. Ooh, big yeah. back air though. Alright, that one connected. And not taking a lot of damage, but just taking the sun salutation straight to the face. Yep, yeah, alright. Trading projectiles again, and John recognizing that, you know, the gyro was his downfall in the long range game. I love the way that he's, you know, positioning himself so that he can just take it out of play completely and then start to play his pace again. Because there's, there's just been such a, a difference in this game. Even though they're at pretty much the exact same spacing, like, John's, when it's John's long range game and when it's Dill's long range game, it feels completely different. Yeah. Oh, man. Dill just trying to push her advantage. Oh, able to catch that, the armor yeah. that time, but not able to get the kill. Oh, just kidding. Going deep. Just barely able to make it back to you. saw she had the, the black smoke. All right, that time, though, Dill not able to get away with going high. Now we are at a, a dead even game, last stock situation. John looking for this reset in Grand Finals. Yeah, just trying to make this game is. And Dill just trying to get on the board for set one. All right, Gyro, get, get out of here again. Not welcome in this house. All right, the ledge trap, what we're gonna see here. Yeah, and I I do really like the way that Dill has um, moved more towards ledge trapping for the most part instead of going out for these down airs, just yeah. because they haven't worked out so often. Yeah, no, it is not working out. Oh! And we actually saw something almost called to falling up there. That time, though, I, you know, Dill might, you know, might pull out a down air if she thinks it'll win her the game. Yeah, unfortunately, she wasn't there to set it up. But John is the one down air. Able to get a little bit of a laser snipe there, but the instant dash attack after the parried neutral air, and that is going to be a reset for John Numbers. Yep. Keep those boots tucked in. All right, so deep breathing right there. Harry, got yeah, it. Instant dash attack, yeah. that's all you need. Still not happy about it. Yeah, it's like, how did that happen? 
that move supposed to be safe? What happened? Have you seen the video of like where they try to punish Rob's move on parry and they just couldn't? No. It's like it's, it's a Twitter thread. Okay. It's like it's like, oh, what am I supposed to do? Parry the move? They parry it and it's like try down tilting and just Rob's able to shield. Yeah. The move. My mind, the move's like plus eight. Low key. <laughs> Same energy as like yeah. all those Kazuya threads. Yeah. It's just it's just Three, random two, random numbers. One, yeah. Nobody knows the true hitbox. Alright, game one in true finals. Once again, small battlefield. Spot dodging the grab there. So I mean John's got all the momentum right now, getting the you know the 2-0 in the first set of grams. Okay, and we're seeing Dale trying to go for like falling up airs here. And I know that's a like combo star Zama usually tries to do, like when he has momentum. But I want Dill to like play what works. Because she won the first set they played in winners. Mm -hmm. And she she wasn't doing that before, but she was playing like her own style and her own like pace of the game. And right now it is just not her pace. It is John's pace. Yeah, it really feels like John has gotten the adaptation in there, uh, you know, going high to catch Dill going high, which he very often likes to do. Yeah, now we're in John's world right now. Pretty much. It feels like, you know, he's identified those problems that he had in uh, winner's finals and, you know, just gotten rid of them. All right, there we go. No, down. Though now, Dill finally starting to get some momentum here on the ledge. That shield's looking real low, though. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't even fit like Rob's torso anymore. <laughs> no way that John just, ref like, got the angle of refraction off the gyro with the soccer ball to catch Dill going low. That was... That That's, was the John, John trigonometry. Yeah. That's some John stuff. That's like... Who would know that but numbers? Uh, yeah, it's in the name. <laughs> He's definitely cooking the books. <laughs> yeah, John just not phased by the Z-dropping gyro in front of him. You know, if if John does not ha really have a reason to press W, then he's not really going to. Yeah. All right. And using the small battlefield platform to shield himself from, from the falling gyro. And, Dill and the counter hit. Oh yeah, no. This is this set and more like momentum right now. All Johns, it's looking like like playing with full confidence right now. He's playing his game. Yeah, and like, it, numbers is rapid. Yeah, and it feels like Dill on the other hand is just not playing as confident. Seeing a lot of like shielding, a lot of empty movement, trying to phase out John, but just not much committal. And because of that, you know, we're allowing John to play his pace, especially now that John has John has figured out how to set the pace at the long range. Okay. Oh man. John rolling his eyes at that one, like, no way you followed me out there. It's not like you have, like, one of the best recoveries in the game. No way. No. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> like, John's having a great time right now. Look towards the camera, like, what is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stalling up here. Like, a minute. It's like, they're going to come down. And then we see the black smoke. Yep, he ran John, out of gas. John knows. It's like, all right. Had this huge visual cue of when it was time to come in. Yeah, I didn't even know until he told me. <laughs> oh, my me. God. What <laughs> she look like the Pringles guy when he drew that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the rapid blink that John does at the camera right that gets there. me. Hey, look at that. Got him. You can't even see. He has the mask on, but like you can already see the like shitty yeah. grin that he has. Like, yeah, I did that. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna see coming in to game two of True Finals if this is the last game of the night, or if Dill can you know put some momentum back in her favor, get herself on the board. Yeah. And definitely seeing Dill play with more of a sense of urgency right now. He's trying to start off her advantage really strong. 
Yep, and there we go, getting the laser. Starting to go for these down airs again. I feel like that might be kind of a sign that Dill is, you know, looking for something to change. Yeah. yeah he's seeing a lot less passiveness, just trying to force the issue mm -hmm. right here uh, as, as he goes back. All right. Okay, that was actually a somewhat decent position there for Dill because the gyro is in between John yeah. and her. So that Barry not as scared. No, again? Of course. She's balling, man. <laughs> Rob will never be balling. Yeah. All right, so finally, I feel like this is the first time in Grands that we've seen Dill with a lead. Yeah, so. no, it definitely is. But we'll, we'll see what she can do with it. Only 26% on John right now while John is threatening at the corner and still able to get the kill. All right. Down tilt. But this is where John loves to be. He's at home, guys. Yep, Ledge's friend, as always. He's in the air dodge there to get back into center stage. Now Dill kind of in the corner, but these lasers doing wonders against the header right now. Yeah. Okay, just jumping over that dash deck and not able to find anything out of it. Now, it feels like Dill has kind of found her footing in the long range game again. Yeah, no, she's starting to set up her wall with the gyro and it's the laser charges up and is able to start sniping up the gun. Yeah, it feels like Dill in the uh, the winner's side set was really relying mostly on the uh, the gyro to completely shut down John's long range game, and then in set one of Graham's, John figured out how to get past that. Yeah. But now Dill is relying more on the laser, which John can't really do anything about. It's not an item, so you know. Dill, Dill is start to, starting to find her footing again. Yeah. John was doing a good job of picking up the gyro before and like trying to shield the laser timing. So hopefully he figures out the new timing Dill established. Yep, but now at ledge again. He's in a dash attack to cover Dill's landing. Dill going high again. Not really wanting to deal with this deep breathing John at all. But I mean, John's John's gotta find this kill. These these nickels and dimes are really starting to add up for him. Yeah. Oh, great mash by Dill. Just gonna be living it just a little bit longer on this second stock. All right, I I do really like the way that Dill just grabbed the ledge there because Dill so often will stall down there and then come up with like an up air or a forward air. Yeah. But we also saw John like hold shield that entire time. Yeah. So. Definitely wasn't like expecting it. Okay, laser catching the get up attack. John now at ledge again. Dill looking to close this stock out quick, but John. John might be closing Numbers. out the tournament. <laughs> no, okay. Dill able to make it back to center stage, reset back to neutral, try and set up this long range game again. All right, Gyro out of play for a little bit. Dill has to find some sort of opening, but the uh, anti-air up tilt, putting John now back into the lead after after Dill was in the lead for so long. John finally, you know, starting to make his way back. All right. Oh no, that was not a well advised deep breathing right there. Oh, looking for the down air again. John going past the ledge. Oh my god, they're fighting for their lives. Okay, shield right there. Now, is, is John going to close out the tournament right now, or are we going to see a game three? I don't know, but we're going to find this out. This is what the anyone's game right now, is. but it's going to be John's game. And it's also going to be John's tournament. Now, let's try it together. So, unfortunate for Dill, after a... A very hard fought game two in the second set of grand yeah. finals. She was finally starting to figure things out, get some momentum in her favor, but it was just kind of too little too late. Yeah, no. It, their adaptation happened a bit too slow. Mm -hmm. And it's and now in John's favor. John yeah. is our winner 
for um, the Xeno Weekly. Xeno, I, we've gone this whole, like, stream. I still haven't figured out what number it is. 149? 247? <laughs> 247, thank you. John is your winner of Xeno Weekly's 247. All right. Congrats to John. There he is. I got him in the back. He's coming in. Night. You got something to say? What's up? Nice. 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 <laughs> All right. So that's going to be the end of our stream right <laughs> yeah. there. We got the words from our champion. His, his final words of the night. Nice. Nice. All right. So All where right. can they find you? They can find me at Force Armor. I finally changed my Twitter tag to be my tag. Oh, wow. And they can find me at Pierre underscore four. Pierre four. Yeah. The L's and I, so... And they, of they course, put a, guys... They put a lowercase for you guys, so you guys don't get tricked. <laughs> and of course, guys, speaking of following, make sure you guys are following House of 3000 at Twitch, on Twitter, on Facebook, and YouTube, and all those. And we will see you guys next week. Yep. Roll those credits. Thanks for hanging out. Deuce.